you go buy a young goat at four months old, three and a half, four months old, and when she hits a year, then you breed her. In five months, she'll kid. Three months after that, three to four months after that, you can sell the kids off. And you're usually twins. What's up, everybody? I'm Matt from the Payne family, and I uh, just wanted to give you a small disclaimer. Um, we have not gotten a coyote yet, but I plan on doing that very soon. Actually, today, we've got an exciting Sunday planned for today. We're going to travel across the state and pick up something that's going to play a very vital role in our farm. But before we get to doing that, um, I wanted to play you guys a clip from this morning. Uh, it was before I'd had my morning coffee, and uh, something happened that I really didn't expect. Check this out. Look at that, guys. We got two babies on the ground. They're so tiny. So these two actually hatched yesterday. And then um, this morning, we got up and we heard something chirping in the incubator. How many do you guys think hatched? Wow. Look at all the bob white quail. Flopping everywhere. Now the quail guy said, once they start hatching, they'll be like popcorn and they'll all hatch. Wow, look at all of them. Let's get these things in the uh, brooder over there before we uh, lose too much humidity out of the incubator. All right, I got them all in the brooder. Look at all of them. I think I counted 20. This one right here is one that hatched yesterday. You can see he's more dried off than the other ones. If you look over here, I've got rocks in this water. And the reason why I do that is because they're so tiny, they'll get in there and they'll drown. So I put these rocks in there so they can uh, get up on the rocks and they won't drown. He's wanting to get in there and get a drink. Over here, I've got 28% crumbles. And I actually put them in a bag and crushed them so they'd be smaller so the bob white quail can eat them. That's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, I thought I lost all ability to hatch stuff out of the incubator. I hit day 18 and nothing was hatching and I started getting scared, so I ordered more quail eggs. So now I've got more quail eggs on the way and I've got quail on the ground. So I'm about to be years deep in Bob White quail. But uh, today we're gonna make a trip and we're gonna, we're gonna do something that's been long overdue and um, we're really excited about it. The kids are excited about it. And some of you probably already know what it is, but we're gonna hit the road this morning and uh, we're gonna go pick this thing up. And uh, if you guys will stick with us, you'll see what it is. Hey, I think I'm here. I think you're here. You have a big green gate? Uh, if you hit the big green gate, you will get you went past me. Oh, uh, okay. You turn right before that? My gate, my gate, yeah, my gate's on the right hand side. Yeah, I see you moving up there. Yeah, back in the pit a little bit. And my gate's at Oklahoma on the right. Alrighty, I'll see you in a minute. Alright, sir. Alright, bye.
She's getting defensive. That's the mom. She's an Anatolian. Look at all these pups. Come here, pup. Come here, pup. What are you doing, puppy? What are you doing, pup? What? Yeah, $600 a day. Wow. <laughs> Making money, isn't he? Yeah. No. Look at that one, sis. Hi, I see. You like that one? Yeah. I'll hold them. You want to hold them? Yeah. Oh, so all these are seven weeks over here. Yeah, all these over here are seven weeks. And, and these, these are seven and a half. These are seven and a half. We just gave, gave them their first shots, and that's got instructions how often. We got them from um, Tractor Supply because 13 puppies at our vet's price is a little bit too much. <laughs> that would wipe out <laughs> all the money. <laughs> so what you're telling me is we need to buy some goats. No, you do the math and figure it yourself. I mean, figure, uh, like, you know, this guy, uh, was talking, a friend of mine right over here, they got rid of their cattle and got goats. And what, what they did, they came over and they was asking about them. I told them, I said, just do the math. Your cow, like, hey, you go get heifers, all right? You get six-month-old heifers, it's about the time you can wean your calves off, in about six months. All right, you're going to pay like $600 for that heifer. Then she got to go until she's a year old before you breed her. Mm -hmm. And after you breed her, she has to go almost a year before she'll calf. So you burned up two years right there. Yeah. You go buy a young goat at four months old, three and a half, four months old. And when she hits a year, then you breed her. In five months, she'll kid. Three months after that, three to four months after that, you can sell the kids off. And you're usually twins. You sell the girls for the same price you bought the mama for. Your mamas are all paid for on the first kidding. The daddies or the boys, the little boys, they're the, they kind of help pay the fee. They, well, right. usually they more than pay for the feed. Right. So that first kidding, you've paid off all your debt. So you got a quicker turnaround with goats yeah. than you ever would and then with then about cow. then about six months later, you sell another bunch. I think we'll be uh, jumping in the goat business here shortly. <laughs> <laughs> no, just do the math yourself and see yeah. what it is. Yeah. She's a good looking mama. Oh, yeah. But I think, you know. She's full sister that other one. Really? So, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think demeanor is hereditary. The way they act, I guess. Well, the reason they're acting like they are right this minute is because of children playing with their pups. 
she, they're getting mad. And she, you know, they are very possessive. Uh, they're guardian dog. That's their, right. you know, that's what they're for. They take care of the goat. They stay out there with them all the time. Right. So they're, they're working right now. Yeah. See, she's watching, he's watching the push. Yeah. She's not, she's not very she's happy. <laughs> she's a good looking mama though. Thank you. I think yeah. it's the one we're going to take. Yay. We don't have a name for him yet. But I'm sure the kids will figure it out. Yeah. Oh, he'll, he'll, he'll do something to give you a name. <laughs> Might be get out of that or dang it or something yeah. like that. They yeah. got Annie, Sissy, and Buddy. Annie, Sissy, and Buddy. Yeah. They're all, all in the right yeah. And I've been calling him Little Buddy Little because buddy. he looks just like his dad. Yeah. Did. That's why we picked him. That Great Pyrenees look. Mm -hmm. I didn't suspect I was going to go for the Great Pyrenees look when I got here. I was one that Anatolian, but, but he seems more docile and you know, mm -hmm. settled. Well, I appreciate it. Well, well, thank you, sir. Y'all have a good day. All right. Have, you. have any questions? Thank you. All right. You tell them bye. Hit the road. Tell them thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Take care of that puppy now. Okay. You take care of him, he'll take care of you when he gets bigger. Okay. <laughs> Say yes, sir. Uh, thanks to you for recommending what we needed to do we got us a livestock guardian dog didn't we bub yep and his name is scout his name's scout so oh, no. he's gonna bite me he's not gonna bite you yes, he's he gonna was. he's gonna protect our birds is what he's gonna do yep. aren't you bud looks like he's gonna be a pretty good dog and when he grows up he's gonna be a dad and he's gonna protect me from being home alone yep Hello. he's gonna protect you guys too huh Yep. But he's got a ways to go. He's just a puppy, right? Yep. Yep. So we want to uh, thank everybody for hanging out with us today while we went and got our livestock guardian dog, old Scout. Can you say hi to him, Scout? Guys, we're going to get off here for today. we got to get inside. Old Scout's hot, and Luke's ready to uh, get some dinner, aren't you? Yep. All right, guys. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Smash that like button. And uh, don't forget to click that bell to be notified every time we go live and all of our new videos. We'll catch you on the next one.